Hello, this is Bishop Garland Hunt, and this is the Power of Hope devotional. Welcome back. Welcome back. Listen, like, share, please. Just get the word out as best as you can, please. If you, if you enjoy the word of the Lord through Bishop Hunt, if you enjoy the word of the Lord through me, please like and share. Or, and then make a comment. You know, somebody else may, that may be blessed by it, that are friends of yours. So anyway, let me talk to you about this today. I'm going to talk to you about an expression that's in the scripture that says, but if not, but if not. And this is actually dealing from the scripture where it's Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And sometimes when we say those names, it sounds almost kind of funny. It sounds like they could not really be their names, but it was. They renamed them. Their, their names, they had another Hebrew name. But because they were under the uh, the, the king's uh, tutelage, that he renamed them, and he renamed them Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And so, so it's not nothing funny about it because actually they were they were right in the midst of trouble. And uh, so the king, look, the Bible talks about it in Daniel chapter three. It says the king um, has made a decree that every man should hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, the harp, the sack, but the, the, the psaltery, the dulcimer, uh, all, and all kinds of music. It says, they shall fall down and worship the golden image. And he had this huge golden image, huge golden image of himself. It, it, when you hear the sound of the trumpet, when you hear the sound of the flute, when you hear the sound of horn, when you hear those sounds of the music, I want you to fall down and worship me. And so uh, whosoever faileth to worship, it said they will be cast in the midst of a fiery, a burning, fiery furnace. Oh, yeah, if they were serious, and it was hot. So, so anyway, so of course, Nebuchadnezzar spoke to, to them and says, it is true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you do not, that you do not serve my gods, nor worship the golden image that I've set out to you, because he was brought to his attention that the three Hebrew guys, that they were, they were young men, were, were refused to, to, to bow down. He says, is it true? And so then they said, well, now if ye be able that at what time you hear the sound of the cornet, flute, the harp, the sack, but the psaltery, the tzema, and all kind of music, you fall down and worship the image that I made, but if you worship not, you, you will cross the same hour, listen, to cast the same hour to the midst of a burning, fiery furnace, and, and what is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? <laughs> so you tell me a God that's going to deliver. I'm telling you what's going to happen. What is a God that's going to be able to deliver you out of my hands when I take care of you? That's what Nebuchadnezzar said. Because he did, you know, trust the God of uh, of these men. So, so, but this is what they answered. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, he says, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter, but but if it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the fiery furnace. I mean, he, he, he can deliver us, no matter whether you put us in there or not, he will deliver us from the fiery furnace and he will deliver us out of thine hand. So it's two parts. I'm out of the furnace and out of your hand, the bondage. <laughs> He'll do it. My God will do it. My God has a strength to do it. But it says, O king, but if not, and that's huge, but if, can you believe God, but if not, you believe in God for your mama to, to not die of cancer, but if not, I'm going to serve you no matter what if you decide to take her home. Uh, if something has a catastrophic accident and your child is at the point of death, and you say, well, Lord, heal my son. I know you can heal my son, but if not, I'm still going to serve you, love you, still worship you. See, either way. So this is what they did. They said, even if he delivers you out of my hand, out, out, out of your hand, I, but if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which you set up. In other words, even if he wasn't going to deliver us, even if he decided not to, but if not, I'm still not going to give in to you. And I want to say to you right now, we need to have a but if not, that no matter if God does pay your car note or pay your cell phone bill or, or takes care of you, listen to this, but if not, I'm going to praise him. Even if he doesn't, even if I lose my car, lose my house, lose my friends, lose my job, all of that, 
I'm still going to praise you. I'm still going to praise you. You got to have that kind of faith. You got to have that. But if not, this is Bishop Garland Hunt. This is the Power of Hope Devotional. I'll talk to you later.